Get your family together. Your son needs you. You don't look at the driver? I'm not barely going to look at the car. It all happened so fast. How many shots? Yeah, I don't know. Shanice and Calvin are with us, yeah. No, she and Josh are still in surgery. Anderson's out. Yeah, but it's touch and go. Look, I'll be there as soon as I know everybody's out of danger, okay? Just handle it for me. Yeah. Thanks. When's Grandma coming out? Soon. Excuse me. We're Mr. and Mrs. Green. Our son, Josh, is here. We've been trying to contact you. We need some information. How is Josh? He's in surgery. Mr. Green, we need a copy of your insurance card, please. Could you tell us about her son, please? What happened? Gunshot wounds. Drive-by shooting. Where was he hit? Please, take a seat and fill out the form. The attending surgeon will answer all your questions. Good luck, man. You've been here for six hours, and they still won't tell us nothing about my grandma. Did I hear them say... Josh, you've been shot? Yes, ma'am. Thought angels were supposed to help people. We are. And we do. But every once in a while, people have to help angels. Huh? Come with me. Those are the footsteps of a little boy. You're the angel that took away my mom. Are you going to take away Josh, too? I'm not sure what's going to happen to Josh. How can you be an angel and not know what's going to happen? You can be an angel and not know a lot of things. Something's wrong with you, huh? I can't see. I'm blind. Angels can't go blind. Yep, you're blind, all right. I knew bad things could happen to people, but I didn't know bad things could happen to angels. Bad things can even happen to God. Every time one of his children gets hurt, or every time one of his children is sad, or every time one of his children turns their back on him, God suffers too. Why does he let that stuff happen? Because he loves us so much, he gives us freedom for humans and for angels too. Is this making any sense to you at all? I think I'm getting a headache. That's usually a good sign. 
I still don't get why I made you go blind. I don't know that either. But God knows what he's doing. He always does. Sometimes that's the hardest thing to see of all. My headache's spreading. That's all right, Nathaniel. I think Monica's is finally starting to go away. Thank you. Mm. Better get back. Yes. Before Nathaniel came along, I was sitting here thinking that if I had my sight, I could have seen who was black and who was white, and maybe I could have done something to stop all this. Miss Wings, your job is not to observe differences in skin color. It's to make people blind to them. Tess, where am I? Josh's room. You needed to be here, honey, when he came back from surgery. Such beautiful voices. Yes. There just aren't enough of them yet. They didn't know where they are. Ladies, I don't mean to be rude or anything, but this is a hospital. There's sick people in here and they need quiet. Excuse us. You know, we all deal with our grief the best way we know how. We didn't mean to bother nobody. Well, you didn't. It was inspiring. She gave a little hope to the rest of us, and anybody else in this hospital will happen to hear it. I am sorry. Son is in here, and we're waiting to see how he is. I just. I beg your pardon. My apologies. Is anyone in here for Josh Green? Yeah. I'm his mother. Okay, Josh is out of surgery, and we're trying to keep him stable. Is he going to be all right? We're. Monitoring his condition. We'll keep you informed if there's any change. Can I see him? Soon. There's. Where's my grandma? Oh, that's Miss Hardy. She's my grandmother, too. Are your parents here? They live with their grandmother. I'm the family doctor, Dr. Hall. I run the neighborhood family clinic. Okay, um. This is, uh, Harding didn't survive the surgery. I'm very sorry about your grandmother. Oh, no! Oh. Where's Grandma? Where's my Grandma? Come here, sweetie. Oh. Don't talk. Try and get some rest. I'm still alive, right? Yes. Very much alive. Did you ever find out why God made you blind? I'm starting to. More and more. Find out, okay? So you can tell me. Thanks for being a donor, Mr. Green. Thank you. Oh, thank you. At least I do. Now take it easy for a few minutes, then go back up to the lobby when you're ready. Listen, my son just got out of surgery, and they are still holding us out there in that lobby. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Hey
in the shooting, the one your son was in. You knew him? 25 years ago. Lieutenant Anderson Walker. To see what he must have flown us on half a dozen missions. We hated each other. I mean, hated each other. He had no business being an officer. He was one angry man. So what are the odds of this happening? A million to one? A hundred million to one. Only I've stopped believing in coincidence ever since those angels came into our lives. Yeah, me too. Where's Mom? Michael's the landlord, Serena. And when did you slither in, Pacheco? All I'm saying is that any improvements done on the property were within his rights. People are dying here, and the lawyer's talking about rights. What is with you, lady? I'm the bad guy for trying to clean graffiti off the walls, trying to make this place better? Or doesn't it count because I'm white? You don't make things better by whitewashing them, Michael. You make changes the way Mary did with her life. What were you thinking? I just took it for granted. Maybe cleaning the walls That's would make this place problem. a better... That's the problem. It's not that you're white and we're black. You take everything for granted and we can't because we get everything taken away too easily. Just for Mrs. Green? Yes? You can see your son now, but I have to warn you, there's been a complication. Josh is experiencing blindness. We're not sure if it's uh, permanent or temporary. We're going to have to do some additional testing. Take us to it. Why did God let this happen? God did not send Josh here to lose his sight. Then why didn't he stop it? The shooting, the blindness, the death, he could have stopped it. But he can heal it, baby. He can make the darkness go away. And he will. He will, in his own time. Just trust him. That's all you got to do. Just trust him. No. He's sedated. You won't be able to stay a short time. Cadillac. Yeah. What's a white boy like you riding around that part of town in a red Cadillac? Same thing I'm doing here, checking up on you. Uh, uh, car's not mine, though. Belongs to a friend of mine. Nice car, man. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta take you for a ride in it someday. Not, not too soon, though, I hope. Am I hallucinating while you be there? I don't have to be. It's up to you. Uh, I take too many painkillers. <laughs>
years, huh? Sure gave us a scare. How you feeling? Sore. Yeah. yeah, we know. Is everybody else okay? An Anderson Walker was shot. He's alive. But an older woman, Mary, I think. She didn't make it, honey. Excuse me. This young man has a date with the radiologist. I'll have him back to you in a couple hours. No, I'd like to come with him. How's Anderson doing now? Well, there's no reason why he should be doing just fine, but some people want to live and some people don't. If he doesn't get some fight in him, he's not going to make it. I know. Yes, sir, Josh. I thought I heard you say that. Well, I'll take it back as soon as you're out of the hospital. I'm making my life miserable again. <laughs> Daddy? Yeah, so, yeah. You gotta go to that shopping center. There's a little girl there named Shanice. Something wrong with her. It's her hearing, I think. I should have said something earlier, but I didn't. That's okay, son. No, it's not. Promise me you'll help her. Take her to the doctor there, Dr. Hall. Go there right now. Son wanted me to take care of. What? Well, we'll have to have her hearing tested to confirm it, but um, there was some damage, scarring around her eardrum. Please thank your son for picking up on that. Any idea what caused it? Chronic infections to the inner ear, usually caused by colds or fever. If the uh, infection goes untreated, it can eat away at the bones in the middle ear. How could they let something like this happen? They? There is no they. There used to be a she, but she got shot down in your parking lot yesterday. I know that may be a rarity in the white world, but it's a very popular way of dying out here, Michael. Mary worked hard every day to take care of her grandkids and to pay the damn rent that your family wanted for that sandwich shop. How dare you waltz in here and self-righteously ask us, oh, how could they let that happen? We don't need you to solve our problems. We are doing the best we can down here, Michael. How about you? You are not the great white hope. You are not the master of a plantation here. You're right. I'm sorry. This was a big mistake. You know, you're only one person who can't do everything. It's one your fault. But I should have picked up on this. This baby's here all the time, you know. I could have done something. I think you are doing something. Both of you. I just wonder if you could do it without scaring this little girl to death. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I need my grandma back. Oh, I want to back. All I wanted to do was just take back the wall. 
My job was to sell this place. That's it. Just fix it up and sell it. Josh fell. What are we doing here, Andrew? And why was my son shot alongside a man I hoped I'd never see again? That man that you hoped you'd never see again saved your son's life, Russell. He dove on top of him. Right now, he's lying in a hospital bed, light of his back, count those little holes in the ceiling tiles waiting to die. He's lost his fight. In this little corner of the world, they can use all the fighters they can get. for one of them pretty nurses in here. I want your face to be the last thing I remember. No, I'm going to say this, and you're going to hear me out. Yeah, right. What was that, Cord? Ow. There are angels. Now, I know it sounds crazy, but there's two of them right here in this hospital, and they are all around us. Man, come on. And there's another one that they don't want you to meet. <sighs> Young fella, blonde-haired, real good-looking. I saw him in Vietnam. And I saw him just this morning at that wall. And wherever he goes, people die. I did see him. He was there. The angel of death. He took Mary Harding home. Took her back to God. Mary, she didn't get hit. It was just me and Josh. Take care of those grandchildren. Nobody knows. Now, this is your time, Walker. The best quality you ever had was being a mean son of a gun. So why don't you get angry, huh? Come on, get angry. I know you can get angry. I've seen you do it. Get up off this bed and fight. See you again or not? Only time will tell, honey. The doctor said a full recovery is possible. I believe that. But the important thing is that you believe it, too. I'll try. Have faith. God has taken you this far down the road. He won't abandon you now. I know he won't.
made a bet with Tanya, you wouldn't last a week. Thank you. Well, I cheated. My sister's husband's got a cousin who fixes those copy machines out in Beverly Hills, California. Your grandfather's office copier breaks down all the time. I've heard all about Mr. Landlord and his wayward grandson. So I got the inside track on you. Never bet on a horse you ain't seen run. Famous words from my ex-husband. Well, I sure ran, didn't I? Honey, when the bullets start flying, everybody runs. If I had a rich granddaddy, I suppose I'd hurry back to him, too. You know... I don't like your music too much. What, is this supposed to be a pep talk or something? Oh, no, wait a minute, hold on. What I'm trying to say is music is your real dream. Have I got that right? You're just pretending to be this big businessman to keep your family out of your hair. But music is your thing, right? I got a dream. I'm saving money to... Open up a spa. Put green mud on ladies' faces and charge them 50 bucks. Now, sometimes, just when I think I'm getting ahead, something happens. Say, my rent gets raised. But I press on, Michael, because it's something I just got to do. And running out there like that yesterday to protect you and Josh was something Anderson had to do. You couldn't have talked him out of that. You can't let anybody talk you out of anything that's inside of you. The point is, Mary would still be alive today if I wasn't so naive. I don't belong here. Nobody belongs here. But since all of us are still here, well, we spend some time talking about our dreams. And it kind of makes us feel like family. It sure does. Now, you know if I lose this bet, I got to go to church for six Sundays. Hell, I guess it's not that bad. Anyway, I'm giving up all that astrology stuff. You can bet that. Last Friday, it said a stranger would be showing up here. But you know, all week long, I never saw a stranger, Michael. Maybe the stars do control our lives, but you know what I want to know? I want to know who controls those stars. Maybe that's who we all need to be talking to now. She's right, you know, Michael. The one who controls the stars, it's God. And he controls the sun and the moon and the heavens. But he doesn't control our lives. And he doesn't control our hearts. They belong to us. And he will speak to them only if we ask him. If we wait and watch and listen. I'm really kind of frightened right now. I don't, I don't know why. Don't be afraid, Michael. I am an angel sent by God. He, he's taken away my sight for a while so that my heart can become a better listener. So that I may teach you and Josh to become better listeners. And do you know what I hear, Michael? I hear... How beautiful you are. And how much you want to belong to a family, any family. And I hear how you finally have found one. Why? Why, why would God send me an angel? What about them out there, those, those people? God, they deserve angels. Other people getting shot, people trying to survive, not me. Not me. It's... No one is ever without an angel when they need one most. This is your time, Michael. Listen to me. God loves you. 
And he knows how lost you have felt, and he knows how alone you have been, and he knows that if you walk out of here today, you will be alone once more. But if you stay, Michael, you can ask him for direction right here, right now, and he will put you on a new road. And it may not be easy, but it will be a worthy journey that matters and that will last for the rest of your life. Will you ask him, Michael? Will you? I think he'll answer me. I promise. College? That's right. I'm gonna kick your butt all the way to graduation, too. That's what Mary would have wanted. That's what Mary's gonna get. But how am I gonna pay for college? Making sandwiches? I make a pretty good one. I got a good name for a sandwich. What's that, baby? The grandma. Permission to come board? Denied. Yeah, right. You know, they give me an ounce of respect, did you? Boy, you know, Walker, you look very nearly alive. Don't rub it in. How's your boy? Beginning to get up and around. He wants to come to the funeral. So do I. Well, why don't you sell that place so you can get... I have a proposition for you. Uh, kind of an inspiration, really. You know, you've been talking to them angels? our sister away from us. And yet, we can still rejoice today. That's right. We rejoice because we know that even though our beloved Mary is absent from the body, No, you probably don't feel like talking to me right now. But, uh... Suppose you're leaving. Well, actually, I can give you this. Goodman Heating and Plumbing. Everything's fixed. Anything else, you just let me know. I'll be here. The thing I'm going to remember most about Mary is her dignity. It didn't matter what she was doing, whether she was talking politics, throwing out the garbage. She did it with dignity. That's right.
So sorry. If you need anything. Grandma was the best woman who ever lived. She worked hard and yelled at me to go to school. She always told me that you can't change the world all at once. You got to change it one life at a time. Well, I could say is she sure changed mine. And I just want to say. I'm going to try my best to make sure it was worth it. Amen. Is that all? Spilled in my house, y'all. Hopelessness for that trigger. Shattered our lives. Took away that boy's sight. Took away the life of my friend. Because hope was not there to stop it. But I want to tell you something. here today. Hope is here today because tomorrow when evil whispers in the ears of our children who's going to be there to stop? We're going to be there to stop. And we're going to do that by taking our dreams back. You know, I've learned a great lesson in this week of sorrow. sends his angels down to protect us and to uh, advise us. Yeah, sometimes to take us home. And I've learned that God does love us. And when we tell God our dream, the angels don't laugh in our faces and say, yeah, good luck. But that God asks more of us than we'll ever ask for ourselves. That's why this time, y'all, we're going to succeed. We will succeed. Because uh, God will return more to us than we'll ever expect for ourselves. So we're going to have to ask him, though. No. We're going to have to ask him today.
got a beautiful wall. You can see the wall. I can see it all now. Come on, Angel Babies, let's go home.